Yeah. What's up, car gang? So we just pulled up Fadi's house, as you can see. We have our cars here, but even better, we have the 720S right here. I don't, I don't think he's home. I think he's home, but I think he's on a call right now. So honestly, I know where his keys are. So we should just go and grab them real quick and just you start think it off. You would be okay with that? Um, as long as he doesn't hear the car start up, we're good to go. Uh, let's start oh, the go. let's start the car anyways. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I hope we don't get mad at This is our welcoming gift. Our welcome. <laughs> I think they're right here. They should be in one of these pockets. Oh, they're literally right here. Oh, they're in here. They're in here. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Oh wait. Okay. Get in the passenger seat. Come on. He's gonna come out. He's gonna be like, "What the heck are you guys doing?" Let's let's launch the spaceship. What's up, car gang? So today we have a very special guest for you guys. Our friend Fadi here. What's up, guys? With his beautiful 720S. So he also has a YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to him because he does insane things. He used to also have a twin turbo Huracan, and he just got this crazy 720S. It's Boost It Forward. I'll also link it in this clip. And in the description. And in the description. So pause this video and go subscribe to him right now, actually, and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys can see this beautiful white 720S. What's the color name? Do you know? This is a pearl white. Pearl white. Yeah. It's beautiful. You guys can see. I don't know if you guys see it on the camera. It literally looks like there's pearls shredded up and put into the paint. It looks so beautiful. Just a quick walk around. We'll get into and we the... we do have acto active arrow in the back as well. Yes. And of course, that engine sits very close to the ground. It's pretty cool how you can see all the mechanics from the back. Exactly. Exactly. I like that a lot. Yeah. What tire size you got? You got Toyos. Uh, these are Toyo R888Rs. Uh, uh, did it come stock with the car, Toyos? No, no they came with a uh, Pirelli P0. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. And those tires are garbage. Really? Yeah. <laughs> For traction, they're, they just don't work. Okay. Don't work. Yeah. yeah. Goodness. Um, that's the only modification done to this car. It's wow. Just the, just the tires. That's all it needs. Right, that's all it needs. So I believe this 4 liter twin turbo V8 output 710 HP or 740? 710. 710. 710. That's what it's rated at. It's underrated though. Yeah. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it, it typically puts down about 690 to 700 to the wheels. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so. So, yeah, definitely under, that's definitely <laughs> underrated right there. It's got carbon ceramics on it, right? Carbon ceramics. Yeah. So, how long have you had this car for? Uh, three months. Three months. Three months. How are you liking it? Oh, I love it. And do you miss your old baby? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that was a whole different car, like twin turbo. Right. 1600 horsepower. Speaking you know. on that, what? What do you miss most about the Huracan that this doesn't have? Speed. The speed. That's it. As in launch acceleration or? Overall. Overall. Not launch, because that car wasn't really built to launch. Right. Yeah. Um, you had the all-wheel drive Huracan? All-wheel drive. Okay. Right. But uh, the flat-out speed of that car, from like a 40-year-old, for example, to like one something. <laughs> right. It's insane. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, because you, you, you had twin turbos in yeah, it. That's large. Uh, 700. 10 horsepower car, even if it's underrated, let's call it 800 horsepower car, yeah. to a 1700 horsepower. Right. Car. That car was making about 1700 horsepower to the motor. To the crank, yeah. A little over 1400 wheel horsepower. Yeah. Wow. So you can't, you know, you, you can't compare the two. Right. Speed goes exactly. Up. But stock wise, I bet you this this is faster than a stock car. Stock, stock, there isn't, out of all the cars I've ever owned, there isn't a better car than the 720S. Yes. Out of anything I've owned or driven, actually. Wow. Yeah. That's one thing you love about the car. The looks. The yes. Looks I love the way it looks. Yeah, it looks like it came straight out of a UFO. <laughs> right, no, for real. <laughs> you can just see the lines. It looks like it came right out of the air tunnel. It's very, it's very functional, too. Like, you know, there's no, there's no just show pieces on it. Everything is functional. Every line you see, all the vents that you see, it's there for a reason. Right. And what's one thing you could change about, that you wanted to change about the car, or don't like about the car? So, one thing I don't like about the car are the seat controls. The seat controls. Yeah. That's very particular. Yeah, I, I hate them. And you know what? When, when you guys get in a car, you'll see what I mean. I'll tell you to adjust your seat, and you're like, "How do I?" <laughs> and then when you find the controls, you're like, "How do they work? What are these controls?" Like, right. What am I doing? Yeah, like, yeah, they're really bad. You know, yeah. the five seventy S is a manual, right? You right. Just go up and down. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the seat controls, I don't like about it, and then um, the brake feel in the acceleration <laughs> feel of the car, mm -hmm. like when you tip into the brakes, the brakes don't bite. For like three or four inches into the into the, of the so it basically feels like they needed to be like blood yeah the that's brakes what it feel feels like, like. Yeah, but yeah. I know why McLaren did that there's a reason why they did that and the reason why I think 
the reason why they did that is because it's this car on a track if you have overly sensitive carbon ceramic brakes mm -hmm. and uh you know they they're very sensitive and right. it becomes like you can't modu modulate the, the braking the brake pedal. exactly yeah. going into a corner exactly and stuff. yes exactly. So i know exactly I, I think that's about. why they did that but as far as driving feel like on a right it's just you know it's right. kind of scary you're like oh my god am i gonna crash into the car yeah exactly you're like where's the brake we're up there you know i i know exactly what you're talking about because on the on the mustang after i took it on the track a few times the brakes I had to push all the way to the floor and then yeah. they would kick in same thing with my Cuda 1970 yeah. naturally the brake lines are kind of weakened and you have to push the brakes hard to, for it to start to slow down right. so. did you get this from Troy Motor Mall? I did nice, nice. I got a brand new had like 34 miles now now did you see the car and you said like I fell in love with it when I saw it or did you see like online and you wanted that spec and you had to wait for it I've what's been, the I've been wanting a 720s for like past year okay so in general I was trying to be financially smart about the, uh, the purchase right because I know they were depreciating you know right I, at that so, point especially yeah, I mean, yeah. the curve was like mm. especially when the 675 or uh, 765 yeah, LT when that came out it yeah. lowered this even yeah, a little the, more the 720 spider right and just in general these cars unfortunately they do depreciate uh, quite a bit yeah. mm -hmm. so hopefully I caught it at the at that at point the at the right kind of flying out so basically the 720 has one cool feature about it is it has boost by gear so what that means is like it's the, the boost is progressive so first gear it has x amount of boost second gear has x plus three pounds of right boost, right and so on yeah so i think it, it maxed out in third gear it's where you get all the boost all the boost gear. Yeah, so okay third gear and plus wow is where you, you said it's one of the only cars you know that come from the one factory of the only like cars that. that i know personally that comes from the factory with boost by gear right usually boost by gear is implemented in a lot of highly modified cars mm -hmm. yeah um, you know, when you have standalone ECUs and whatnot. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's one of the reasons why this thing just continues to pull as hard as it does at such high speeds. Because usually once you get into higher speeds, cars generally don't perform as well. As you guys can see, there is a vent right here. It is functional. It goes right into the headlights and comes out right here. So that reduces the drag. So it's my turn to take over the camera and let's take a look at the interior. So first things first, I believe. Let's find the door handle first. Find the door handle. It's right over here. And then just carefully lift it up. All right, let's swing right under the McLaren real quick. As you guys can see, this is, I guess, where he puts the keys and they look pretty similar to the 570. Nothing different, but very simple. But right when you open the car, you see a bunch of Alcantara everywhere and a beautiful red interior I'm trying to get you get a beautiful starting noise <laughs> I love how these doors go up right you have many different style doors you have obviously your standard car doors you have doors that go straight up just like the Aventadors you have doors that go like in and up just like the Koenig sex and then you have like these doors they're like Love for both. <laughs> 20, they kind of go up like butterflies, and I just love these doors. Exactly. And something you need in every single car hand sanitizer as well. <laughs> Closer to Grand Side, we also have a bunch of carbon on the steering wheel and yeah, around the cool. steering wheel it's as like well. It's like matte carbon, like matte finish on the carbon fiber. Yeah. I love the red stitching. That literally adds a beautiful touch. You guys, one quick thing I wanted to point out was the McLaren uh, 720 has a bunch of cameras around the whole car, as you can tell from here as well. And what this is for is when you're in reverse, it gives a whole bird's eye view of the car. So that's awesome. Okay guys, so Fadi's about to take Christina out, get the car warmed up so we can get a rev note and show her how it's done. He's hitting an angle so he doesn't have to scrape that front bumper. Very close to the ground. Look at that thing, you guys. Woo. So... Basically, the way this car works is you have your functions well, here. Yeah. So H is basically your suspension. Okay. Think of it as handling. Yeah. That might be what it is actually. Yeah, probably. And then P is powertrain, which is the engine. Okay. Okay, so T for comfort. Okay. S for sport and T for track. Okay. Uh, actually, what's very unique about the 720 is that one paddle can work both ways. It oh, can wow. be upshift and downshift. Like for oh, example, okay. if I want to upshift, you yeah. know, you click it. Yeah. 
And if I want to downshift, you push it forward. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And then one really cool thing, and I'll show you real quick. Uh-huh. If I can find it, I'll get to it. You have like a whole Tesla display. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, right here, if you go to vehicle. Yeah. And then driver display deployment mode. I have it always open. This is your um, driver display. Oh, wow. I have it always set to open, but... If I wanted to be folded in track mode, only so wow. what it does. the F one rev lights. So basically, what that's wow. doing is it goes down because now what your McLaren is saying that okay, this driver is in track mode. Yeah. And the only thing that's important to you are your gear, yeah, your RPM, yeah. and your speed, and it comes down to give you more visibility. Wow. Yeah, so that's wow. track mode. But for me, I don't really like it, so yeah. I always leave it open. Mm -hmm. So it's always open, even in track mode, it's still open. Wow, for guys, take a look at that. Yeah, That's so awesome. Fun. And how's the visibility in uh, com incredible in comparison to Huracan? Incredible. Oh, okay. This car has the best visibility out of any sports car I've ever owned. I mean, look around. There's no right. blind, there's no blind spots. Exactly. This you is know, a huge it's windshield. Huge windshield. Yeah. yeah like, it's really nice. Right. Yeah. And you got a mini sunroof around the right. <laughs> actual doors. That's awesome. Yeah. And the car also has vehicle lift, so you push this button oh, right here. Oh, wow. So you have air suspensions as well? Yeah. That's awesome. It has it all. <laughs> and they have returned. <laughs> Look at the smile on their faces. Are you, are you ready for the revs? Yeah. Okay. stock you guys that has a nice tone to it it's not too loud not too quiet and it sounds great wow. so you're gonna take me on a drive <laughs> <laughs> first thing you're gonna do yes. is you are going to adjust your seat and you're gonna see what I mean when I tell you how annoying this oh, okay. is. <laughs> first I'm gonna let you see if you can find it yourself so go ahead and try to find the seat controls right here <laughs> you got it? Wow, that was pretty good. okay okay so try to adjust your seat now okay and you'll see how frustrating it is See what I mean? Am I adjusting? No, what you're doing is you're pressing the, um, see, you don't even find them. You found the oh. presets. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I found, there you go. Oh, okay, there okay. You go. And you don't know what you're touching. Yeah. You just keep pressing each other. See how frustrating it is? Yeah. All right, so you're going to put the car on drive. So put, the, yep, want to put on a brake and then put it in D. And then you are going to unlatch the e-brake, which is on your left-hand side over there. You're going to pull it towards you. See this it? This one right here? Yep. Okay, it? you know what? You're supposed to actually press it. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I should have known that. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I see the light. All right. So now um, you're in the right mode. You're in comfort for suspension. You're yeah. in, you're in, you know, you can put in track here. That's fine. And then uh, do you want to do manual or do you want to do auto? Um, Let's do manual. Very cautious. And you are good to go. Okay. All right. Let's go. You don't have to downshift by yourself. You only have to upshift. The, oh, wow. The car will downshift for you by itself. I didn't know that. Yeah. So can I press on the pedal a little of bit? Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're on eco mode, as you guys can tell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so then we're going to go straight and then work. <laughs> See the turbos? Uh -huh. I yeah. love it. Like you feel, you feel safe in it too. It's not like that's, oh my god. That's another thing too. I wanted to tell you, like you don't feel like you're driving. Like you're not nervous. Yeah, exactly. You're not a nervous and, wreck. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. Yeah. And you got everyone's eye out on you, like. Oh yeah, it's, that tension the car gets is out of control. All right, so we're gonna make a left here. Now, once okay. you make a left here, this is the road where you can give it a little bit of gas. Okay. Um, yeah.
like the pedal shift just because you're just engaging with the car right. and you feel like you're controlling it. Right. Oh, wow, you got me sold. <laughs> you I know, got man. me sold on I'll this. I'll tell you what, that's why, that's why, you know, I wanted one because it's just like the perfect supercar. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I it agree. does everything so well. I'll be taking a to 110% on it. Best supercar out there. Drive, literally perfect. Oh my like, god. It, it, That's coming from a Ferrari worker, guys. <laughs> yeah. She's driven all yeah. the Ferraris and she says the McLaren's better. This, literally the, from the view, the handling, like the brakes and like the suspensions. 110, 110, 110, everything. <laughs> I awesome. love it. Awesome. All right, you guys, so I am back, and of course, this car is only a two-seater, so now Grant's about to go at it. He is about to leave our... He's about to leave the driveway and go at it. Big shout out to Fadi. Like, this made my whole life, literally. All right, that's how Grant has to sit. But it's very roomy. Oh, let's have Grant find the controls. Yeah. Grant, can you find the controls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it roomy for you? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Peace out. <laughs> and they're gone. <laughs> So, um, my camera battery died, so uh, we're, I'm just chilling in <laughs> the um, driveway waiting for Grant and Fadi to return, and literally 110 times thank you to Fadi, this means so much to us, honestly, like, just the thought and, like, trust and everything, like, we put that all into account, so if you're seeing this, huge thank you, and yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, record when Grant is on his way back. All right, guys, we are in the 720S. We are live, and it feels great. I love driving this already. I love that little click. Yeah, yeah no, I like that because it really it shows you when yeah. the gears are shifting. Like, I, I love just the feel of it, the right. sound of it. It's no, so cool. no, I agree because some, some are like faded and they don't give a sound. So, you're right. like, did I push it? And right. you can hear the engine, but right. this it clicks and you know that yeah. you, it's engaged. It's really like cool. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Man, that sounds nice. You see what I mean about the brakes? How annoying yeah, that is. Yeah, man, I don't like that. <laughs> Me either. Personally, I don't. Me I'm, no, like, I'm sure the brakes perform very well under oh, like, high do. pressure. When you, when when you, slam, when you on, slam on it, like, you'll go through the windshield. Yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 that's what I bet, but I just don't yeah. like how they feel. Yeah. Like you said, when yeah. you're driving I don't the like car. The, I don't like the way they modulate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, I could get used to this, you guys. <laughs> Holy smokes. It didn't right. even spin when I did it. It did. I felt it. Really? Oh, yeah. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> the stability control is good on it. You know, if it's spinning and it's right. not... That's what I was trying to tell you in the video earlier, that, like, the traction control system on this car is so crazy. It's so good, you know? Man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's motivating and it's you know what i mean of course as a kid my age is definitely something to push me forward and motivate me to keep absolutely. working in school and on youtube you know absolutely yeah i was too like, scared to go past six thousand yeah six thousand was plenty yeah, yeah dude, like you i it, couldn't it, I could feel it that, that's when it starts to pull right yeah. right yeah exactly <laughs> it starts to pull at six thousand bucks yeah Damn, you know, that's man. crazy yeah when you were shifting did you notice how smooth like, like you don't even feel it you don't even feel the shift i couldn't feel the shift it's like one long shift dude Man. It's like one long shift. That's how in the event store, like when oh, Mo took move, me. Move, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, when Mo yeah. took just to yesterday, yeah. when he took me out in the event store, you know, threw me in the seat. But when it shifts, it's like yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. Your head goes forward and back. Yeah, yeah. This, your head just stays. You don't back. even feel it. You don't even feel it. It's like yeah. the car even shift. You know what I mean? Right, right. And notice how the difference in the driving suspension between this and the Ventador. Right. The Ventador is a lot harsher. Yeah. You know what I mean, this car takes the bumps a lot nicer. It really does take bumps. Yeah. Man. It's like not amazing. But for a supercar, yeah, I mean, amazing, for, for, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a car that, for an exotic car, the best in this class, you know, it, it won't get much better than this. Right. Like this takes nicer. This suspension is more compliant than than uh, 911 turbo, and wow. that's more and that's considered more of a GT car. Right. So. Right. That's true. Yeah. 
and the downshifts like you hear it but you you don't feel it too much which is what i i personally prefer right right yeah i mean that's what that's what i like too like i i see i like smooth i like right, smooth, everything smooth soft right. i like that a lot of people are like oh well you know then you don't feel the car yeah the heart is more aggressive yeah it's like yeah, listen dude then if that's what you want go buy an aventador right right, right. yeah get that single clutch i hear right. the aventador is a, you know enjoyable to look at but when you're in like city traffic and yeah. you just push it you know it floors you when you're trying to reverse me, a little bit it floors you in reverse me, you know? me personally i don't think it's enjoyable to drive at all right people yeah. that's what i've heard people are make a left here it's, it's it's like driving a big boat right that's what people say is you know one they don't like driving it because of the single clutch right exactly right? and they it don't, feels heavy like it doesn't feel like some cars are heavy but you don't really right. feel their weight but i feel like the aventador you feel its weight yeah, yeah exactly and and the back of the car is wider than the mirrors usually the mirrors are the widest part and this car it, no it's not the same because these mirrors really go out yeah right i know what you're saying yeah like it, it's a different it's a different car man like this it is, is this is why they say the 720s is like the it's like the best supercar that you can buy the best right. exotic at this level that you can buy right, right. and you see why right. it does everything so perfect like the driving it position really is. The driving and position is so nice. The visibility is great. The the shifting is amazing. Right. And if you want to drive the car simply, like I, you know, kind of like how I have been, yeah, it's so easy. Like I'm already used to the car. It feels like right. I'm driving. It my feels Mustang. like a normal car. It exactly. feels like a normal car. But exactly. when you want to unleash it, exactly, you know, obviously you need to practice before yeah. you do stuff like that. But I'm sure you know that I can imagine it's and too I, hard to get and the hang of. And I told you, I, you said you said I don't want to get the car out. I said it's not. Don't worry right. about it. The stability the, control. The, the, the traction right. control in this car is out of control. Right. Like it keeps you straight. I don't. You can be in first gear and stomp on it, and you will not kick sideways. You right. won't. That's what you're gonna do is that you'll spin, you'll but spin, spin but straight, sp straight. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Where a lot of cars, you'll floor it and you'll feel the you'll tail feel, slide yeah, a little right. bit. Right. Exactly. That's impressive. That's impressive, yeah. especially given how much horsepower this thing has. And they are back, you guys. Let's let the McLaren cool off now. I like that feature actually. How was the spaceship? <sighs> kind of slow. He got he, no, got, he, he insane, got on it a little bit. He got on it a little bit more than you did. Know, it was in so, insane. So he got to feel about fifty percent of the power. Only fifty. Really? No, yeah, I that's know. that's about it. How high of RPMs did you go? Like six. Okay, okay. I was around five point five, if that too. It starts to pull at six. It starts at six. That's where it starts. Right. That's where it's <laughs> We're here to close out the video. Yes, so <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Fadi, for giving us this badass you opportunity. It, Anything and for the YouTube, go give him a subscriber. What's your account? Boost it forward. Boost it forward, guys. Yeah, go guys, give, give him, him a more follow. attention than you give us because I promise you his content is a lot more cool. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> his content is like literally awesome. So yeah. go give him a follow. And thank you guys so much for watching and hit that like button. Peace. <laughs> Take care.